call President, Freedom and Democracy, Mr Nigel Farage. Thank you. What is the most commonly used word in association with the euro? No, it's not failure, though it could be. No, it's stability, isn't it? A decade ago, everybody said, once we've got the euro currency, it will bring us stability. Well, I would suggest a decade on that what it, what it has bought is chaos, discord and misery for millions. And yet the word stability still being used this morning. Mr Barroso used it. Mr Van Rompuy used it. Stability. In fact, we're patting ourselves on the back that the bond auctions in Portugal went well last week when the reality is it was the European Central Bank actually using taxpayers' money to buy their own debt. Your reassurances that all is well don't work. I mean, who do you think you're kidding, Mr Van Rompuy? Bond yields in Portugal rose to 87% yesterday. The public right across the Union no longer support the currency and the battle for Spain hasn't even begun. The model itself is failing and yet what you want is to double the size of the bailout fund. You even want to increase the scope of the bailout fund so that along with the ECB you too can go on buying yet more of your own debt. You're using the crisis as a massive power grab to take us towards fiscal union. If you succeed, then we should change the name. Get rid of European Union, call it the debt union. And if you do succeed, you will trap those southern countries inside an economic prison for which the, the suffering of people will be untold and the north will find itself paying forever a massive bill and interest rates that are far too high for their own economies. We've reached a point with this where actually it doesn't matter what any of you say. Nobody believes you. The public don't support you. I hope and pray the markets break you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. It's too late. Blue card to Mr. Farage. Are you ready to answer? Mr. President, blue card, my colleague. Uh, normally I use my mother tongue, but it's always uh, at least sometimes amusing to listen to Mr. Farage because he, he knows all the answers and he gives all the questions himself as well. But the alternative, Mr. Farage, if we have been 16, 17, up to 20 different currencies, as we had in the 90s, as the pound sterling collapsed, would that have been better? Would that have had improved this, this, uh, the current situation in Europe? No economist, Mr. Farage, no economist would agree with that. You could not just say that we are living in, in, in some past. We are now dealing with issues concerning Europe today. And you are never, Mr. Farage, never answering the question how to deal with this current situation and the future. You are a populist. You and you are too easy answering you. and giving all the answers yourself. Thank you. I did say a decade ago that you could not have Greece and Germany put together in the same monetary union and that it would not work. And if you go back through history, you find that when people are put together in false currency unions, when governments think they know better than the markets, governments always lose. You ask me, what is my solution today? It is absolutely as plain as a pike stuff that Greece, Portugal and Ireland do not fit inside the, the euro. And what we should be doing, what Mr Van Rompuy should be doing, to give real leadership is to be introducing a plan B and to allow these countries to go back to their own currency, to have competitive devaluations and to have a chance. Because what we're doing with this policy is killing them off. Thank you. Um, other speakers? 